welcome back to Read Roo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today we're going to read How to Find a Unicorn. If you're as excited to find out how to find a unicorn as I am, be sure to give this book a thumbs up below. And don't forget to click subscribe. That way, every time we post a new story, you'll get notified, just like with this book, and we can read together right away. All right, this book is written by Sue Fleiss and illustrated by Simona Sanfilippo. All right, let's get started. How to Find a Unicorn, written by Sue Fleiss, illustrated by Simona Sanfilippo. There's an age-old tale that magic unicorns exist, wandering where orchids grow within the mountain mist. Unicorns are secretive and very hard to find, but they can sense if you are friendly, welcoming, and kind. There's a way to meet this mystic creature of the wild for unicorns may only be enchanted by a child. First, you'll need to build the gear a unicorn would wear. Choose the items from the woods with thoughtfulness and care. Craft for her a sturdy bridle made of daisy chains. Sugar cubes along the bit and ivy vines for reins. Weave a saddle made of ferns, the softest of the bunch. Gather apples, straw, and grass. She'll need a healthy lunch. Watch and listen for the signs. A distant shooting star. The gentle swishing of a tail. A whinny from afar. Look! Some hoof prints on the ground. Ahead, a single horn. Quiet! Do not make a sound. You found a unicorn. Watch her as she forages and keep your movements slow. When she sees you, catch her gaze and whisper a Hello. Standing very still, present the bridle you have made. She will understand there is no need to be afraid. She'll trot over, sniff and neigh, then bend down by your side. Gently dress her in the gear, climb up and take a ride. Whoosh! You race the forest sprites and gallop through the breeze. Feel the wind blow back your hair and rush the surging seas. Canter through the meadows and along the rainbow's arc. Dashing, loping, trotting as the skies above grow dark. And then at last you'll stop to rest, run ribbon through her mane, twist her tail into a braid, and feed her grass and grain. As she kneels beside you, slide the bridle off her nose. She will press her cheek to yours, a hug before she goes. You will long for her to stay, but she must travel on. Say farewell and set her free, and in a flash, she's gone. Though you'll miss her, know that you will ride again someday. Upon this misty mountainside where magic finds a way. I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. If you'd like some activities to go along with the books we read, you can head over to readaroukids.com. There we do all kinds of fun activities, 
like science experiments, arts and crafts, scavenger hunts, and maybe some math. If you'd like to follow along on all of our social media, you can see what we're up to every day. Again, I loved reading with you, and I hope that we can read together again soon. Until then, Rita Roo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.